Need something? Yes, sir. The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. In any other circumstance, I'd agree with you. However, these aren't normal dreams. The Daedric Lord Vermina's voracious hunger for memories is responsible for these visions. The nightmares are an echo of her presence as she feeds. This one's a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Still here. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? This way, my daughter. Believe the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's folk. I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. The tower on that hill is our destination. Got to look out here, Colin. Maybe I'm the dragon. Tower on the door. And I just don't know it yet. I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established inside. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen at Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple had been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine to Mara I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her.
Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Just a moment, and I'll have this open.
show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Yes, you're right. I should have. But I didn't know what to say. When the orcs raided the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters behind to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrong. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Lore holds that the Skull of Corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The Skull has been out of touch for so long, I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. We mustn't tarry. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Just up here. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the awakened within.
This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. I hope the tome we need is still intact. Take heed, they've awakened. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level.
Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. I assure you, the Dream Stride is well known in Verminian lore. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. I will not lie to you. There is some risk involved. The last time the torpor was imbibed could have been decades ago. But I swear upon Lady Mara that I will do everything within my power to prevent any harm from befalling you. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around you will perceive you as normal, and you will find the words you utter may not be your own. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of Vermina. I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. Otherwise, I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. They're still here! Stop them! Ah! 
Now that they've been dealt with, we need to find the torpor. It should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. The torpor should be in a tall bottle with dark liquid. If you find it, bring it to me. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drink. Dawnstar's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Let's continue. We still have much to do. have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the Skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The Miasma must be released. The Miasma? But, Brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thoric, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. 
And what might you need? Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Come. We must get to the skull and destroy it. What was that? They mustn't stop us!
way. Barry, Thorik, you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies! I can't allow you to destroy the Skull, Priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Fire her for them! friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Yes, you're right. If they needed to die so that Dawnstar could live, then it was worth the price. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier, and to send the Skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the Skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the Skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. In time, I believe I will. I'd constructed a meager shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you.
Azura's wisdom to you, friend. This one's a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. 